Hello students, as we are studying about the kingdom Monera, in this class we will study about the different shapes and the motility of the bacteria. So let's start with the different shapes of the bacteria. The bacteria coat its shape because of the rigid structure of the cell wall. The outermost layer of the bacterial cell is cell wall and that is rigid in nature and that rigid cell wall provides the shape to the bacteria. Let's start with the different shape. It has first shape is cocus. Cocus means spherical shape, a round oval shape. And these are further classified into different categories. One is monococcus when only one cellular, unicellular bacteria is there. Mono means one, cocus means spherical shape. Diplococcus. Diplococcus pneumoniae, a bacteria that causes pneumonia. Here, the two cocus bacteria are there, means one cocus bacteria was there that divide in a same plane and the two bacteria stick together. Streptococcus, a chain of cocus bacteria. Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus means a bunch of bacteria with a cocus shape. Then second one is Bacillus. Bacillus means road shape. This is a road shape bacteria called Bacillus. This is a road shape. Bacillus bacteria or in plural we will call Bacilli. Similarly for the cocus in plural we call Cocci. This is Bacillus shape and this is Diplobacilli. Diplo bacillus and then streptobacillus a chain of bacillus or road shaped bacteria is called streptobacillus the most common example of the bacillus bacteria is E. coli the bacteria that is found in human in intestine then spirulum spirulum means spring shape or spiral shape bacteria then vibro vibro means coma shape bacteria the bacteria the most common bacteria in a vibro shape is vibro chloride that causes the disease cholera then some bacteria are also called pleuromorphic pleuromorphic means the bacteria that can exist more than one shape they may be existing in cocus as well as in bacillus such type of bacteria are called pleuromorphic bacteria for example arthobacter is one of the bacteria this is these are the dif different shapes of the bacteria that is cocus bacillus spirulum and vibro these are the basic shapes of the bacteria now we will study about the motility now of the we will study about the motility of the bacteria motility means the movement in a bacteria some of the bacteria are non motile they cannot move while some can move the, those bacteria which can move from one place to another place they can move, move only with the help of flagella so on the basis of the arrangement of the flagella bacteria are classified into different categories first is atricus atricus means a bacteria that do not have flagella if the flagella is not there bacteria cannot move means a bacterial cell without flagella or flagella is absent is called atricus example is micrococcus from here coccus coccus shape bacteria then monotricus monotricus bacteria is the bacteria having a flagella on its one end what is flagella flagella is a whip like structure that helps in a movement of the bacteria and the example of the monotricus bacteria is vibro then amphitricus amphitricus bacteria means a bacteria is having a two flagella on either of its end on the both the ends it has one flagella then example of amphitricus bacteria is nitrosomonas bacteria the free living bacteria that helps in nitrogen fixation then lophotricus the bacteria is having the bunch of flagella at its both the and is called lophotrichus bacteria and the example is salmonella salmonella typhi the bacteria that causes typhoid then cephalotrichus the cephalotrichus is a bacteria in which bunch of flagella are present for the movement but on only in one end and the example is corny bacterium and then peritrichus bacteria a bacteria that is having a flagella on its whole body large number of flagella are present on the whole body the example is e coli the bacteria that is found in a human 
intestine. Now let's talk about the structure of the flagella found in a bacteria that helps in the movement of bacterial cell. The structure of flagella. The flagella that is a whip-like structure that helps in a movement of bacterial cell is consist of three different parts. One is basal body, hook and filament. See here, if this is a bacterial cell, this whip-like structure is called flagella. The portion that is embedded or get attached to the bacteria from the cell wall is called basal body and that curved portion is called hook and this long filamentous structure is called filament. And now, this basal body that lies within a cell, cell wall and attached to the attach the flagella to the bacteria has pair of rings and the pair of rings are called uh, there are two pairs are called inner pair and outer pair the inner pair has two pair of rings and outer ha also has two pairs of rings inner pair are called s and m pair while outer pair are called l and p and then hook the function of a hook is only just to curve, give a curve to the flagella and connects the basal body to the filament. Filament is the longest part of the uh, flagella that actually helps in the movement and it is made up of a flagellin protein. It is more protein uh, with a monomeric unit of flagellin proteins and helps in the movement of the bacteria. So we, today we study about the different shapes of the bacteria and different bacterias, name of the bacterias on the basis of the flagella present in them and then the structure of the bacteria. In next class, we will study about the nutrition and respiration of the bacteria.